Today, we're diving into one of the most mysterious and least explored regions of the world of ice and fire, the continent of Sothorios. While Westeros and Essos are well documented in the Game of Thrones universe, Sothorios remains a land shrouded in mystery, a place where legends come to life amid deadly jungles, ancient ruins, and untold dangers. In this video, we'll be breaking down everything we know about the geography, the ancient civilizations, the dangers that lurk in its jungles, and the tantalizing secrets the map reveals about this enigmatic continent. Sothorios is the third major continent in George R. R. Martin's world, located far to the south of Essos and Westeros, separated by the Summer Sea. Unlike the lands to the north, which are extensively explored in the books and the shows, Sothorios is largely unknown even to the most adventurous sailors and scholars. Its interior is vast and untamed, filled with dense jungles, disease, and dangerous wildlife. Some even consider it the world's dark continent, a place that has swallowed many explorers whole. What's interesting about Sothorios is its mysterious nature. We hear about its dangers and the failed attempts at colonization, but almost everything about this place is either second hand information or pure speculation. Its climate is oppressively tropical, and many who set foot on its shores are plagued by diseases that don't exist anywhere else in the known world. It's no wonder Sothorios has developed a reputation as an inhospitable and unforgiving land. The people native to Sothorios are described as ethnically distinct, with dark skin and unique cultures unlike anything seen in Westeros or Essos. However, much of what we know about them comes from passing references, and there's a lot we don't understand about the cultures and civilizations that have called this dangerous continent home. Now, let's take a closer look at the map. Sothorios lies far to the south of Slaver's Bay, bordered by the Summer Sea to the north and the Jade Sea to the east. The continent's coastline is dotted with islands, the most infamous being the Basilisk Isles. These islands have long been a haven for pirates, slavers, and all manner of dangerous outcasts. Over the centuries, they've become notorious for being a lawless region where survival is the only rule. Just northwest of Sothorios lies the island of Noth, a place often targeted by slavers due to its peaceful people who worship butterflies. Noth's inhabitants are said to have an almost mystical connection connection to nature, and they live in harmony with their environment. Sadly, that makes them prime targets for the slavers who stalk the seas nearby. The northernmost region of Sothorios we have any solid information about is dominated by the sprawling delta of the Zamoyos River, which teems with life, but not the kind you'd want to meet. Large crocodiles, venomous snakes, and dangerous predators stalk the waters. To the west of the delta is Basilisk Point, while to the east lies Wyvern Point. These two areas are among the few coastal points known to explorers, but they're no safer than the jungles inland. Both areas are named for the lethal wildlife they harbor, basilisks and wyverns, fearsome creatures that make travel through these regions perilous. Further south, the land is almost entirely unexplored. Some maps suggest vast mountain ranges or desert regions, but no one has ever confirmed these rumors. For now, Sothorios remains largely uncharted territory. One of the most fascinating aspects of Sothorios, though, is the scattered ruins of ancient civilizations found along the northern jungles. These ruins, remains of long-forgotten cities, point to a time when Sothorios may have been home to powerful cultures now lost to time. The most famous of these ruins is Yin, a city constructed from enormous blocks of oily black stone. What's truly bizarre is that no one knows who built Yin or how it was built, given the sheer size of the blocks, some weighing thousands of tons. Even more curious, is the fact that this material is found in other mysterious locations around the world, like the Isle of Toads and Ashai. Theories abound, from lost civilizations to mystical or even extraterrestrial involvement, but no one has definitively solved the mystery of Yin. Other notable ruins include Zamitar at the mouth of the Zamoyos River, which has been the site of several failed colonization attempts, and the Isle of Tears, where the ruins of Gagosos stand. Gagosos was once a penal colony established by the Gishkeri, but it too has been reclaimed by the jungle and the dangers lurking within. Sothorios is infamous for its hostile environment, and one of the primary reasons why so few have ventured deep into its interior is the overwhelming number of threats that seem to exist around every corner. Diseases like the Red Death, Sweet Rot, and Blood Boils are rampant and have wiped out entire settlements. Explorers don't just fear the wildlife, the very air and water of Sothorios seem to be toxic to outsiders. The wildlife is equally fearsome though. Reports from the few who have returned from Sothorios speak of massive apes, poisonous snakes, and the dreaded wyverns. These dragon-like creatures lack the fire-breathing abilities of their northern cousins, but they're still extremely dangerous. There are also rumors of giant vampire bats, flesh-eating fish, and parasites that can burrow under the skin of their victims, a terrifying prospect for any would-be colonists. Then there's the Basilisk Isles, named for the enormous basilisks that are said to roam the islands. Some of these creatures are reportedly twice the size of lions and far deadlier, with venomous bites that can kill a man in minutes. They're often likened to dinosaurs that survived whatever apocalyptic event killed them off in our world. It's no wonder this region is avoided by all but the most desperate pirates and slavers. Throughout history, various powers have attempted to colonize Sothorios, but all have met with failure. The Valyrians, with their powerful dragons, 
tried to establish outposts along the northern coast, but even they were driven back by disease and hostile wildlife. The Gishkari and the Carthene also made efforts, but their colonies didn't last long either. One of the most famous explorers of Sothorios was Jainara Balaris, a Valyrian dragon rider who attempted to chart the continent's southern reaches. After three years of exploration though, she returned to Valyria, stating that the jungle stretched endlessly, hinting that Sothorios may be as large as Essos, or maybe even larger. This statement has only added to the mystery surrounding the continent, suggesting that much of it remains undiscovered. Despite all the information we have, Sothorios remains a land of mystery. Its jungles, mountains, and deserts are largely unexplored, its true size unknown. Ancient ruins hint at forgotten civilizations, while its wildlife poses constant danger to those foolish enough to venture into its heart. The continent exists at the edge of the known world in the Game of Thrones universe, tantalizing scholars and adventurers alike with the promise of hidden secrets and ancient wonders. If you want to learn more about the maps of Game of Thrones, check out one of the videos on your screen. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.